Yo, what's up YouTube? So today, just a quick video. This is going to be a comparison of a single port wastegate versus a TurboSmart dual port internal wastegate. These are both internal wastegates. So let's check it out. Lid comes off, you got the diaphragm, and then inside, you got um, the diaphragm shit piston, and then you got your springs, and then multiple springs and this is where you can change if you want to have pretty much a stiffer wastegate uh, you would you can spin the top off on this one actually um, but yeah so let's just so boom it sits in it does have a little rubber gasket that sits down in the bottom of this to essentially try and seal it uh, but it's not perfect and so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart this Turbo Smart one just to compare. And this is supposed to be like a true dual port wastegate. This is one I had a, uh, a friend who tapped the bottom. You see, he tapped it. And so essentially, what's supposed to happen is um, when wastegate pressure comes f or, uh, from the boost controller and it comes through this top half, it helps push the wastegate down and out, pretty much opening the wastegate on here, relieving pressure. And so, what this. Uh, this true dual port is supposed to do so you got two ports uh, so you got vacuum pressure coming in the top and the vacuum pressure coming in the bottom it's supposed to pretty much come in the bottom and help slam the wastegate shut so the spring goes it's putting vacuum pressure on the back side of it uh, preventing the spring from compressing and that's the whole point or idea behind it um, is it guaranteed you know turbo start tur tur turbo smart's pretty serious about it but pretty much what you do is uh, you're essentially not letting the exhaust gases escape, therefore increasing velocity, which velocity will increase pretty much turbo speed. Because the only place it can exit is at the is at the wheel. So it's pretty much essentially trying to force the exhaust gases to spin the turbo faster to go through. That's the whole idea behind a uh, dual port internal wastegate. So let's crack this open. Take a look at it. I already, already kind of got it soft. Same thing, you got a diaphragm, but this diaphragm is almost like a dual diaphragm, right? Uh, so it will vac or come in through there and into the lid, and then it can seal on this side as well when it's pinched together. Take off the little, and this is another thing Turbo Smart is. So this is actually a for a Borg Warner setup, and I'm working making it work for my Evo 9 Turbo. So this whole thing is, you know, it can swivel and it's supposed to keep this part, this rod in and out as straight as possible to not ruin the seal. Before, on their older models, it was a rod that went through. So, and if it kind of changed angles, the rod would kind of ruin the, apparently, you know, ruin the seal a little bit, however it's sitting here. But now this takes that out and just kind of uh, redistributes the force. So we'll take this off. Take the, and this is how you change the spring on this one. And uh, wait a minute. You take this nut, take the nut off, and then the spring comes out. And it's it's pretty much similar to this this wastegate as well. So this is a 14 pound spring. Uh, same style. It's got the diaphragm up top with the lid, but that can spin off as well. But it, it looks like it's pretty much like a dual sealing diaphragm uh, compared to the other one because once it's compressed inside this ring, then you can have vacuum pressure on this side and then vacuum pressure on the cap side. So uh, pretty pretty simple, not not too crazy, not much different. Um, but as you can see, in this one, it's got. I'll take this out actually. It's got a cleaner seal. So there sh can a little bit, a bit of boost sneak by, yeah, probably, but it's a pretty snug fit as you can see where the rod is. So very little compared to this one that has this just this little rubber gasket and then that recess that it sits in. So uh, I'm excited with this setup and I'm gonna try and make it work. But yeah, I didn't see any information on the internet about these dual ports. I tried, you know, looking into them, but so this one without the sensor uh, was like 250, I think 270 plus shipping. And uh, yeah, 
I will do a separate video once I get it on the turbo and explaining how I made it work with uh, with an Evo 9 turbo and how I think I can help other people make it work with their turbos if they want to go to a dual internal wastegate. So, thanks for checking out the video all. Quick one. Peace.